the country Baby, do you wanna go? If you can't make it, baby Your sister Lucille said they wanna go And I saw the tape Alan Pizzo and the Predator during the pit party before Saturday night's show and we wanted to talk a little bit about something that hasn't gotten a lot of play this year as much press coverage as it probably should have. This is Alan Pizzo's 25th anniversary of being in monster trucks. Alan, tell us what it's like to have done this for 25 years now. I'll tell you, it's, it's quite awesome to see you know the evolution from the beginning when we started 25 years ago to what it is today. Um, nobody would have ever dream 25 years ago where it would have went you know, to where it is now, it's 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 quite a neat uh, feat to be involved in and still be able to be around 25 years later. Um, we're working actually right now, which we haven't had a lot of time because we've been so busy on the road. We're building, rebuilding our very first truck that we started in the business with 25 years ago. If we could have a week at home where we didn't have anything else to do besides work on that, we could have it finished and be out here, uh, you know, showing the people what trucks evolved from 25 years ago and use it as an educational tool. A lot of the new fans don't know where the sport has came from, what the trucks looked like back then to what the trucks are now. Uh, we want to definitely use it as a uh, educational tool for all these new, new fans that are out and old fans that really enjoy these old trucks. And that's going to be really exciting because there's nothing more nostalgic about monster trucks than looking back 25, 30 years ago. One of the coolest pieces to see anywhere you go is the original Bigfoot monster truck. You know, been around 31 years now. And to be able to see the first Predator out there as well, that, that's going to be really neat. Definitely. And, and Bob Chandler and I have talked about it. And, uh, you know, we're kind of in agreement. We kind of want to do something together and do a little bit of a nostalgic type of monster truck deal and show the fans what it came from. Uh, it's definitely going to be a neat deal. Well, that's going to be something to watch for. And keep an eye on themonsterblog.com, because whenever that's about to happen, we'll have that for you. Uh, Alan Pizzo with the original Predator, maybe Bob Chandler with the original Bigfoot, going to go out and do a little bit of exhibition. So uh, good luck in the show tonight, and we'll be talking to you throughout the show. Thank you. We're moving on down the line to pit party, making sure we have a chance to talk to all the drivers and let them all tell you a little bit about some of the things they're thinking about as they start before Saturday night's show. And we're here with Shelly Kujat, driver of the Shell Camino. Now, uh, Shelly, we heard you had a little bit of an unfortunate incident in Nebraska last week. Yeah, I got my wheelie a little too high and flipped right over backwards. <laughs> now, now, that is your first rollover in the truck, isn't it? My very first rollover, yep. Now, last night in the show, we noticed that it uh, looks like the truck maybe wasn't running to full song, and at the end of freestyle there, it looks like you had a little bit of a problem. Uh, what was that, and have you been able to get it fixed and all ready to go for tonight? Yep, I broke a drive shaft and a couple four-link bars bent pretty badly, so we got that all back together, and so we're ready to go tonight. Okay, that's Shelly Kujat, Shell Camino. She's ready to go tonight, folks. And uh, one other thing we wanted to mention here with Shelly is we just wanted to take a special moment to thank you to to thank you for that uh, great monster blog flag you're running on the back of the truck this weekend. You're welcome. Thank you. Tell monster blog why you came to TV, why you came to see the monster truck show. Because I thought it would be loud. You think it's going to be loud? You going to watch yourself on monster blog TV? Mm. All right. The fans are here. They're excited about the Monster Truck Show tonight. We're here with Bruce Haney. Bad news travels fast. Bruce, tell us some of your impressions racing over buses and about freestyle out there on the course from last night. Checkered Flag did an awesome job of setting up the track. We were really excited about it when we came to see it. About the only issue we had last night, we had a little bit of a lighting problem. The track's taking care of that for us tonight, and we're ready to tear this place up. You know, we worked on it till about 2 o'clock this morning. Had some engine issues up in the upper end of the motor. Got everything straightened out, re-geared the truck. We're ready to go. Okay, so Bruce Haney's all ready to go. You could tell that they were having some issues they were working through last night. Now, Bruce, talk to us a little bit about, you mentioned something to me yesterday that just kind of amazed me. You said you haven't actually been home to the shop in 15 weeks, was it? I've actually gotten to sleep in my own bed three nights out of the last 15 weeks. The first show out for us was Saluda, Virginia, 15 weeks ago, and we don't get to go home for another three. 
That's the life of a monster truck driver, folks. It seems glamorous, it seems, you know, amazing, but in the end, it's all worth it, even though you have to do things like spend 13 weeks on the road. Thanks, Bruce. Next up here in the pit party line, John Killinger with Excalibur. John, tell us a little bit about how you got started with monster trucks. You're one of the newer faces to the sport, and you've really been coming on strong. Lots of people talking about the killer, John Killinger. How'd you get started? Well, I've been starting tough truck racing, went to Pro Stadium. I've got about 13 years of that. Did some work for the NHRA doing stuff then, went to work for Live Nation as a tech for seven years and just worked my way in through. I got asked by Andy Slifko with Eradicator if I'd be interested in driving backdraft one weekend. And I did and it went from there. So then we worked our way up in, because John drove, Zimmer, my teammate, he drove backdraft. So him and I had been good friends and when he took Sudden Impact over, then they had their change in the company, he called and asked me to come drive. Now, and that's where your career really seems to be blossoming now is since catching on with Sudden Impact Racing. It's well known, team owner Brandon Lagarde wants you guys to go out there, he wants you to run hard, and uh, ever since then, you've, written, you've earned the nickname The Killer. You showed last night in racing, going out there, nearly taking down the 25-year veteran Alan Pizzo, and then doing that great dual freestyle. What's it like? Uh, just tell us how you feel about being out there and just uh, taking off. It's an absolute blast. Every time I get in this truck, I learn more and more. My teammate, he's an awesome driver. He's been great working with me. You know, Brandon expects a lot out of us. And when I can come to a track and race finals against Allen that's been in it so long, it really makes a day. It makes it worth running all the time. Then with running the Excalibur body, which was Chucky Parkins, you know, he wants it run hard, and that's how we're doing it. And really, the one thing to notice here is all of these big young drivers coming out, making the names for themselves, they're doing it with Sudden Impact Racing. The hard charging style of these guys is really putting these names on the map like John Killinger. One of last night's big stars coming out of the show here in Batesville was John Zimmer with the Amsoil Shock Therapy. John, you've been around for a while. Go ahead and give us a little background on how you got started in Monster Trucks. Uh, about eight or nine years ago, I got a chance to slowly get involved as a mechanic with Andy Slifko's Eradicator. I just worked my way up through and became a driver about, I'd say, three years ago. Andy was very nice and put me in a truck, and I kind of say the rest is history. I kind of made my own paths and met some people, and I moved to Sudden Impact Racing just over a year and a half ago, and I've done really well with them. Brandon Lagarde, the team owner, gives us kind of free reign. You know, it's as drivers, we're told to go out there and, and make the sponsors proud of what we do. and. Uh, I've been given the opportunity recently to unveil the Amsoil Shock Therapy truck. I got to go up to Duluth, Minnesota to their big 35th anniversary and uh, it was an honor for me to have this truck there and, and it's an honor now to just let people know about Amsoil and all the different oils they make and to be the guy that you know basically puts this truck out and says here we are and you know we're here to stay for a while. And that's a pretty exciting opportunity for you because you look at guys like Dan Rennie with Bigfoot, you know, and the Ford sponsorship they carried for so many years, and now it's Firestone and uh, Summit. And then you look to like Mark Hall with Raminator who carried the Dodge sponsorship. And now you've got one of these big sponsored trucks, and it's you who's behind the wheel of that truck. Talk a little bit about the significance of that for you as in your career. Oh, it's it's huge. I mean, I don't want this deal to be a you know a couple month deal, and that's definitely not what we we don't have set up. You know, I want to be known three or four years from now to be. You know, that's John Zimmer and the truck and I are just associated together. Amsoil's given us that opportunity. These guys are so much fun to work with for me. It's, you know, it's not, hey, go take care of that body and make sure that thing's pretty everywhere it goes. It's go run to win, you know. We're giving you a big name to uphold. And, and to me, it's an honor. Like you said, other guys like Dan with Foreign and the Halls, to, to run with them all the time and knowing, you know, three or four or 10 to 20 years like with Bigfoot, with Ford with them, you know, I'd like to honestly look back five years from now and say, man, Amsoil's been my deal with my truck. And uh, just be proud to have that. And that's John Zimmer, the Amsoil Shock Therapy. He's one of the stars that's just rising like a rocket here in Monster Trucks. And you're going to see him go full out tonight.